But rather than just talk about it, what I'd like to do is show you a demo that a company called Fine Tune has put together. Fine Tune is really an internet radio, and what they do is it's a music service. And they decided to tackle this problem of multi-screen and have the same experience for consumers across each of these devices. So what I'd like to do is invite my colleague Anup Murarka to come in and show us what Fine Tune has done. One of the great things about using Flash is the ability to create these multi-screen experiences, meeting what Shanshu described as a growing consumer demand. FineTune is a music service that started on the web, and you can see it here on my PC. It's unique in that I can enter an artist's name and get an automatic playlist of related artists and tracks based on the songs and types of music that the service thinks it's interested in. This service now has two million tracks, and it's growing every week. Using Flash, we started out as a browser version, and I can actually play it here within the browser. But because it's written in Flash, you actually have the ability to deliver it not just within the browser, but also as a complete desktop application. And I have the same features and the same application, but now in a much more lightweight, easy to use desktop application. To meet the need of billions of mobile consumers, Fine Tune saw an opportunity to take this same application and deliver it here on a mobile phone. Using, again, the same assets, the same skill sets, they were able to build a Flash-based application that would actually play within the mobile phone. So we can't get another album. This type of application design then became really portable because, as Shanshi described, the hundreds of millions of households connected to the internet through broadband devices and TVs, FineTune was actually able to take the same technology and now deliver it on the Nintendo Wii and have, again, a similar experience. Hopefully, we are network working. I'll try browsing a few other sites here. There it goes. <coughs> this type of a multi-screen experience is really what's going to make these services stand out. And those companies like FineTune that are able to deliver a service to their audience consistently from device to device are the ones we think are going to be differentiated in this next generation of services. Thanks, Edward. Not just fine tune uh, in terms of applications that consumers want. I was talking to Steve backstage about the fact that the NFL has actually gone live with broadcasting their Sunday night games using Adobe Flash. DirecTV is offering, in conjunction with the services that they offer for DirecTV subscribers, an extension on the PC which allows people to, through supercast technology, view any game that they are interested in. So the reality is that consumers will start to demand these experiences that they are traditionally getting either through the TV or through the internet increasingly on their mobile devices. Well, it's a nice vision, but the reality today is that these expectations are not being met. It is really very difficult for developers and content creators to create the kind of experience that you just saw. Some websites might work beautifully on your device, whereas other websites may not have been optimized for display on mobile devices. Some of your rich media that you have on your PC might work great, but may not work on a mobile device. When people upgrade to a new device or move from network to network, the experience that they have is different, and that the learnings that they have may not be leveraged moving into the future. And so when consumers have that experience, it's a missed opportunity. It's a missed opportunity for all of us in the industry. It's not just the plight for the customer himself. And it's not just customers who are frustrated today. Let's look at the plight of either creators or developers who wish to create compelling new applications for this paradigm. 
the rampant proliferation of devices means that these developers have actually got to test out their application on each one of these devices. And the fact is that the development economics that we see today means that the shelf life of these devices is actually decreasing rather than increasing. And so that's tens of thousands of dollars that people are using to test their applications on these devices. The reality is the cost of experimentation today is way too high. And the biggest challenge that we have as an industry is the fact that we are not unleashing the creativity of the developer community and helping them make their experiences available on all of these devices. It is true in our opinion that fragmentation is actually holding the industry back. We have new devices, we have new connection points, but they all have slightly different specifications. They have different operating systems. You have different browser specifications. And this market fragmentation is going to cause a natural limit on the amount of innovation that's possible. We have brilliant people working in this industry who are working to deliver these great experiences across the internet, but a model like this just can't go on. And so this tower of Babel that we have created creates a chaotic ecosystem and it does not make consumers happy. So that leads to an opportunity. And the opportunity that we have, collectively as an industry, is to defragment this environment that exists today. History has taught us that the mobile internet is so big that it really will require each of the ecosystem partners to come together to provide this fertile ground for explosive innovation that needs to be based on certain reliable open standards to unleash the creativity that we talked about. We need as an industry to be able to seize that initiative. History is always a good predictor of what happened, so let's take a look at what happened in the early development of the internet. The first really friendly user environments on the internet were providers like AOL and CompuServe and Prodigy. And they served a very, very valuable purpose of being able to provide a really compelling experience for a set of customers. It was a controlled environment, and it was a limited environment, but it really enabled people to make the leap to get on the internet. And I think you're going to start to see the parallel that I'm going to draw between what happened on the internet and what's happening in the mobile internet. The second thing that happened in order to unleash the internet for PCs was that the World Wide Web really took off. And that was driven by this user experience layer that brought together all of these experiences in a cohesive way. We had the pioneering work from Mosaic, later Netscape, the Internet Explorer, and certainly we're seeing a number of new browsers. And Adobe itself played its role with technologies like Adobe PDF and Adobe Flash. And once individuals became comfortable with these environments that they had, it actually emboldened them to allow them to go out and check to see what the power of the internet was. They saw choice, they saw this individualism that the internet provided, and realized that there was a lot more than just what a single provider could provide. And that's when the explosion happened. The same thing 